effort, an incredible effort from your players tonight. Is that a type of performance what Birmingham City are all about? 100%. That's what my Birmingham City team is all about. You know, we can play some good football at times, we can dig in, we can fight, we can scrap when, and we're together. Most importantly, you know, a huge thanks to the fans tonight. You know, they really got us through some really difficult moments, but the group overall, you know, showed that fight and togetherness and I was really proud of the football club tonight. You responded to a tricky run of results with back-to-back -back wins. What does that say about the belief and the togetherness in that dressing room? I think it just shows that you keep believing in the process. You know, we had about two weeks. Performances were good in them games uh, that we lost, you know, and uh, we also deserved to, to win a couple of them we drew. So, you know, the championship's relentless. You know, already this week, six games in uh, uh, three, three games in six days. You can see how fortunes can change, you know, to fantastic results at home. And, um, you know, we just keep going. Uh, April 2021, the last time a blue side have come from behind to win a game after conceding the first goal. Um, that side don't know they're beaten, do they, in there? No, they don't, and that's something we drive into them every day. You know, we want to be hard to play against, we want to be very competitive, and also we want to be exciting and, and do the, the, the fans proud. And I think tonight's performance had everything. You know, we, the subs that came on were magnificent, you know, really got us through that end. The fans were fantastic, and, you know, the football at times, again, tonight was exciting. You know, we got through a really tough West Bromwich Albion team at times as well, but, you know, we also have to respect the opposition. You know, they've got a fantastic squad of players there, real experienced championship players and my boys tonight you know went toe to toe with them and you know ultimately we're the better team and I'm glad we won 3-1. The uh, six teams have tried, six teams have failed here at St Andrews to beat us this season. Is it quickly becoming the fortress that we need it to be, that it's slowly becoming again? I think so. I think it just shows that, you know, when there's hard work and determination and, and you do things right, we do things right every day in training, you know, the, the group are together, you know, home and away. I think we've been uh, good this season and uh, the, home, the home, home form has been excellent. Um, you know, you can see the changes around the, the, the stadium, you know, it's made it, made it really our home again. You know, to, to the atmosphere, we've had full, full houses, I think, for, for every game to get uh, the standing Behind the goal in the tilt and tonight was a special night and um, you know I'm glad we could put a good performance on to, to send all the Blues fans home very proud. You mentioned that you've beaten a good side tonight and West Brom gave you one or two things to think about early on. Did you have to make any adjustments in that first half? Yeah, we, we swapped a couple of things around, the, the way we're looking to press and a bit of our pressure. But listen, in, in a derby, a lot of things, it's just down to hard work and desire. And, you know, we wanted that game more than them tonight. And I was ever so proud of the performances and of, of the whole squad. And um, it's not a tactical thing. It's just about doing the right things, working hard and you get your results. Let's go through the goal, starting with the penalty decision first of all. What did you make of it and how happy were you to see Janino Bakuna slot one in after what happened during the week? Yeah, obviously going going down the goal early on, you know, kind of knocked the, the wind out of our sails a little bit and, you know, I think we've earned that little bit of luck, you know, to get that penalty. I, I, I've been told it wasn't a penalty, you know, so it is what it is. But as soon as we got that, I think, you know, that really kick-started us again and, uh, you know, Backer shows some real bottle there to step up and put it away. Yeah, and then to take the lead, we kicked on again after equalising. What a delivery from Cody Drama as well. And again, the skipper pops up with a big header. Absolutely. You know, Cody's getting better and better. You can see that quality uh, from his crosses is improving all the time. And, you know, it's a, it's a weapon that we, we obviously need. We said we wanted to be more clinical. I'm glad Dion's on the goal uh, score sheet now. I think he missed one very similar against Millwall a couple of weeks ago. So, listen, he'll, he'll get a lot of satisfaction from that due to being a, a Wolverhampton kid as well. So, listen, I, I was proud of him and um, what a fantastic header. Yeah, I think Darnell Furlong slides in from six yards out and it just glides the, the post on that far side you always hear coaches talking about players having to suffer in games and suffer moments and if you players had to do that in that second half to come through it yeah listen we have to remember these are a good team you know they're going to have chances against us of course they are but we also created some good chances against them you know we, we rode our luck at times but also the most important thing is that we showed we were a, a unit we're together we're hard to play against we're, we're fighters and again that's what I'm on about this Birmingham City win today was a proper Birmingham City performance. You know, it had everything and I couldn't be any more proud of the players and the fans tonight. Again, it's about the squad, you make changes and one of those substitutions 
pays dividends in Gary Gardner, who, who puts the game to bed. And a fantastic free kick. He's been through quite a lot in, in recent months and uh, in the last year or so. So how pleased were you to see him on the score sheet? Yeah, I was really proud of him. You know, it's been a really difficult time for him since I've been here. You know, he's had some real low moments, but we've got through it together. You know, and um, I've always said to Gaz, he's a top, top player. And, um, you know, we're very fortunate that he's here and uh, he'll have his moments. You know, and uh, tonight was one of them moments. You know, what a fantastic free kick. He's worked his socks off in the last month or so to really get in the position where he can be involved more and um, you know I've been delighted the way he's been progressing and you know he's going to have a massive six months now to the end of the season. Into the international break we go with momentum again 18 points from 11 games what's your assessment of where we currently are at the moment? I think that um, over the course of the 12 games we've lost three um, you know, have we deserved to lose them three? No, we haven't. You know, we've had some really good performances away from home without taking the points. Uh, but, you know, the most important thing is that we don't get carried away with the highs or the lows. You know, it's about keeping a, a steady head and just keep working hard. And, and, you know, when we do have them difficult moments, you know, believing in the process, which we've done, um, and then the results will come. Well done tonight, Gaffer. Thank you.